Trouble. Want- Stan told me you were about to let Oliver run away because you left the door open. Oh, what door open? Front door open. And that front door was not open. He got out the truck before you did and tricked you. That's what he did. No, he told me I went to the doctor this morning. <laughs> so you're trying to let my cat enjoy freedom because you don't believe in him being in the house. I'm trying to do my vlog report. Well, you gonna be on there too. Fine, she'll be here. Hey there, guys. It's your local neighborhood dad here with my wonderful life, wife, my Linda. How are you, my love? I'm upset. <laughs> we are on our weight loss journey so we can be prepared for our Hawaii vacation honeymoon. You said you was going to do the video. You said you are going to keep my cat safe. I did. And that you're gonna love him and nurture him as if he's Oh my gosh. People don't even know the cat you're talking about. This is the cat right there, if you can't see. And he he's he is not trying to get out. Junior lied to you. Like you be lying to us. Anyway, me and the wife, we are planning to go on Hawaii, yet we don't have Hawaii bodies. So we are about to start getting back in shape, and you know what that means. We're about to start grilling again. Now, I haven't opened this grill probably since uh, post-pandemic. I was gonna try to clean it. I really was gonna try to clean it out. However, it just totally dissipated. This is the tray that the coals are supposed to go on. And it looks like a depletion and desperation. All right, well, it's time to get a new grill. Introducing you guys to our new Weber, what's the name of it? Original Kettle Premium. And I also got a cover to it, so hopefully it doesn't fall apart. Got my grill just in case it gets trill, and my handy dandy skill bag, AO Tools. All right, so let's get this opened up and see what we need. Now they put the instructions in here first thing, okay? That's the first thing they did because they know that the people who purchase this type of stuff usually are going to skip it. Um, let's see what type it is. We got a lot of words in here. Let me get my chair. Because if this got a lot of words, I ain't about it. <gasps> Wow, they know their demographic because it's just basic pictures. Check that out. It should be easy. And it will be because I'm going to watch it on YouTube. Long time I haven't had a traditional kettle charcoal barbecue to assemble. This dude talks too slow, so I'm going to just do a lot of instructions. How hard can it be? So as you see, after all my hard work with my two bare hands, we have now have a replacement for the old Walmart grill, which I'm still probably going to clean out and use. It's not throw away your bull, but that's a travesty. That is a pure travesty. I'm going to get that figured out. But now, since we have this new Weber, which I think the name was supposed to went the other way right here, I'm going to have to flip that around. I'll do that after this. But now we got this nifty temperature gauge and booyah. All right, I'm gonna try to get some grilling action for y'all since, you know, we about to make some hamburgers. So we gonna take it back into the kitchen, apply the owl. All right, we back in the kitchen. Now it's time to get this meat together. So I'll probably barbecue steak and burgers tonight. Fresh out the fridge, we got them steaks. You can't beat this price, 13 79 for these steaks. Great deal. New York strips, we gonna throw them on the grill. We got some hamburger meat that uh, just thawed out. 
go throw that on the grill too. All right, here we go. First off, let me make these patties. Ooh, this kind of wet. These kind of wet. I'm gonna set them on, on this later. We go get these steaks out the way. All right, so we got these beautiful lean cuts of beef. Just check this out. I'm pretty sure with the price that was, this is premium Kang El Ruo. Mm mm, El Delicious. And for the seasoning, we go season it with some good Mediterranean sea salt and then pair it up with some ground black peppers off in this thing. Now, you know what I also like to do? And the reason I do this is because it makes the steaks cook quicker. I hammer this out. I flatten the steaks. And I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, oh, but oh, they're so nice and thick. I ain't got time for that, okay? Plus my wife, she like well done because she crazy. I like medium, but this gonna make it cook way quick. I'm all about time saving off in this thing, okay? So how I do it is, I give me another piece of parched paper. I'm gonna salt this very well, if this thing will come off. Come off. What? Ah, uh, wait. That's the burn, ah. Uh. <laughs> it's got a cap, it's got a cap. Lift this grinder thing up, and I'm going to hit this up very much so with the salt so you can put a lot on there however like i said we about to pound it down take it to pound town how y'all women do that i can't and i don't do it to myself so i don't see how nobody can sit here and twist back and forth for so long oh my gosh that's crazy. That was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm about to pound it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I put the parts paper on there because I don't want like the meat to get stuck up in here. It, it eventually will, but you know. And I like to beat the seasoning into it, you know. All right, as you see, they a little bit more spread out. We got some of them spike points in it. Now, y'all see this extra season right here? I'm gonna scoop this season up because that old Mediterranean sea salt and stuff is too high to just be letting it go. And I'm about to sop up that salt with this steak right here. That's right. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this over to the side. So, when it's squared up like this, I just will take it. I don't weigh it out. I'll, I'll just put it into thirds like this. I got this meat on a good deal too at a Sam's Club. Cause don't nobody over here really like thick burgers like that, except for me. I'm the only person that like the thick burgers. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just smash these down. Cause they ain't gotta be pretty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you're not supposed to uh, transfer meat to cross contamination. If you cook everything, thoroughly enough, you ain't gotta worry about no cross contamination, all right? And no, I ain't got no gloves. You know why? Cause I ain't feeding this to nobody, but the family, <laughs> the people I love the most. <laughs> but that's including myself. Now, if y'all see me on the news, see everybody on the news sick from, from some bacteria type of thing, well, sorry. Oh! I forgot. Let me go on and season them up. Like I said, it ain't gotta be world renowned or nothing like that. All right, we got our meat done. Time to move outside. All right, y'all. So we got this Walmart paper that we gonna use in the fire starter thing. I'm about to cut it up. Give me a second. I think this should be enough. Got my wife's lighter and we're going outside. Hope this is enough light out there. So here we go. This is the fire starter thing I was talking about. Got the charcoal briquettes right here. And we got these. We're gonna do something called two level barbecuing. Some is, I'll put it in the overdub, but anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Let's look at it going. Look at that thing going. That fire is glowing. So now we got the fire finally stoking. I forgot I got lights out here, but I gotta go get the electric cord to plug them in. And uh, we gonna get this two zone. That's what, two zone heating set up for the Weber once I get back. Y'all hang tight, see you in a second. So I found the plug for these lights up here. If you are able to see them, I finally found the plug to plug these up. So let's see if we can get these plugged up. All right, here we go. Ha ha ha. I don't know how I forgot that I had these lights back here, but I did. Cause we don't come out here cause we are house folks. This should be better. And I'm sorry, like I said, I'm new to this. So the quality of the camera is gonna be changing. As you see, I keep looking up at the viewfinder and I'm looking directly at the camera. But thank y'all, I'm, I'm learning. Here is the fire looking oh so beautiful. And here are the lights. All of the lights, all of the lights. I have the foggiest. It's for about 15 minutes. Got the gloves. Preheating. All right. Not the safest way, but you got done. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna put all the dangerous stuff I did to get this right. How I got my fire. I got the hot zone in the middle, cool zone around the side. According to this YouTube dude. We're gonna let it warm up and then we're gonna go put the meat on. All right, got my burgers and steak all lined up in the cool zone. Now it's time to add my cheese. Cheeseburgers. I got my cheeseburgers. Woo woo. Look at those grill marks. They are so delicious. Everybody loves Chris. Oh, well. Ooh, wait, don't go back. This is just doing this. I'm just gonna leave this over here. Oh, well, come on. I'll take this in. Alright, I burnt this one. That's so, mine. Sorry, guys. That oh. can be mine. 
This would be my wife's. Right, let me take it over here. I think I cooked all these the same. Yeah. All right, y'all, we back in the house. I want y'all to see this greatness I cooked up. Look at it. Ain't that good? Ain't, ain't that delicioso looking? I can't wait to cut it open. Then I got the burgers over here chilling. It's a lot of weird lights, so I don't know if it's gonna really show, but we got the pimento, I mean the Jackson 5 cheese and the cheddar cheese. Let, let's go on and cut in this steak though. Let's see what that steak looking like. So we go cut this skinny mini up. This will probably be my wife's because y'all know she don't like medium. Let's see if if I overcook these. Ah, this is perfect for her. This is per this is perfect. Just a slither of the pink. I'm gonna eat a piece of yours to taste it. Let's see if it tastes taste fantastic. Here's our first taste of the delicious steak. No, it's not too much red. Here we go. Hey, that's a small bite. If you don't like how it tastes, you ain't gotta eat it. Just eat it. If you don't eat that steak, them will go be burnt for you. They already burnt. That's really good though. This is so far. I feel like I'm at the steakhouse. It still tastes different. Between what? No red and it's more brown. You can taste the juiciness. It's them juices. It's the taste. That's their juice. Mm. It has a different wow. taste to me. I don't know what to tell you. This tastes like word deliciousness it's not bad but it has an aftertaste it isn't there whenever it's more well done there's salt and their pepper <laughs> the season is just right what do you think about the season with the knife. i liked it pretty good though mm -hmm. yeah. all right for me i'm using these uh martin's big sesame seed buns Get these buns, pop them in the toaster real quick. Or I'll put them in the, uh, I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. And I'm also gonna spread some butter across them. Spread some butter across the top of my bun. This is also my carbs. The rest of my carbs for the day, cause I only had 15. Luckily, I did not eat that second, um, bar is 26 so 26 plus 15 is about 40 something i got a tomato i'm gonna slice up and some onion i hope it's still good it, it's stank so i can't tell anyway but i'm gonna toss this onion thing on there should be good oh i will be drinking this Vanilla Zero Coke with my meal. I'm glad I listened to Carlos. Shout out, Carlos. You you did me right. You you led me in the right direction. I'm gonna need this knife to slice up the rest of this ugly looking tomato. Did this tomato get thrown in something? Babe, is this hay? This hay. Look at that. It's something hard in the tomato. I'm gonna eat it anyway, cause. <laughs> Get it how we live over here. But the tomatoes still look good. It still look good. I'm, I'm gonna still eat it. I'm gonna get that Thickums burger right here. I'm gonna toss that in here. Let it kind of reheat on its own as well. The air fryer way. Hence, I learned from my wife. All right, I done made me some jagged onions. Now on my burger, I'm gonna put me some of this good mayo on it. I don't wanna hear none of y'all hating. But you know what? Before I put the mayo on there, I'm gonna just eat it regular. And probably some of this Whataburger spicy ketchup, which Chunky claims she don't like. My bun is nice and crispy. My burger is nice and hot. 
This is what it's looking like straight out the air fryer. I hope that coloring is all right. All right, y'all, this is just my fat grill burger, okay? Look at that delicioso-ness. It's looking fantastic, straight off the grill. Here we go. Mm-mm-mm. I probably will cook it for a little bit longer the next time, but for me, El Perfecto. Mm -mm. Soda. Just top it off. Perfection. Well, y'all, thanks for staying here. If you're still here, thanks for making it through my struggle. Grilling with Ryan vlog or local neighborhood there, whatever I name this. Uh, we will be improving. We'll be tightening up, getting better, get a better process. But uh, until then, We'll see you next time. Peace out.